Hey, I'm Brian Kelsey, and we are at the Unitel headquarters in Hampton, New Hampshire. Now, about 13 miles from here in Kingston, New Hampshire, they're about to undertake a huge project, and that is a substation expansion. Now, it's a very big deal because it's going to increase their capacity, but it's very complicated. There are a lot of moving parts. It's going to take about three years to complete. We're going to get the whole overview from the project manager, Jake Dussling. We'll go talk to him right now. Hey, Jake. Hey, Brian. Nice to meet you. You too. How are you? This nice is Nate. Nice to see you. How are you? Good. You guys have a large project on your hands. We do. A pretty big project. I want all the details top to bottom. This way? All right. So guys, before we get into this, why exactly are you expanding the substation? What are the benefits? Well, several years ago, we determined that we needed additional capacity in this area to serve existing customers and any new customers. Mm. Yeah, we looked at several different sites for the new substation. Uh, we decided our existing Kingston substation site was the best due to its proximity to the transmission system and our other distribution customers in the area. Yeah, yeah and the transmission system also needs to be upgraded to accommodate this. Yeah. And I suppose the redundancy is a, is a beneficial factor as well. Yeah, it creates good redundancy in the area, should improve reliability for those customers, and it frees up some other capacity throughout the system. Awesome. Well, this looks very complicated to me. Why don't you start to take us through here? What you see here is the existing substation out on the Kingston property. The first stages of construction will be to remove all the trees surrounding that substation, and then relocate the existing lines that leave the substation and remove a portion of the existing station to make room to build the new substation. We have the existing substation steel and control house to work around. So one of the first things they're gonna do is they're gonna pour the foundations for the new station. They'll also be able to do conduit installation as well as the cable trench which will be at the lowest level for the new station. Above that, they'll begin working on the above grade steel structures, which includes aluminum bus work and wire. After they're finished with that, they'll install some of the major equipment, which will include circuit breakers, um, capacitor banks, and power transformers. Once all these are installed, the control house on the right side of the fence line will be installed and then all the wiring from the major equipment in the yard to the control house will be installed and commissioning and testing will begin. Once all that is done, they can start cutting over the existing lines to the new station so that they can remove the old station. And then the final stage is they will remove the final pieces of the old substation and place the spare power transformer on its foundation. This substation was built to serve this area of our system for decades into the future. Wow, this looks pretty complicated. Thanks for taking us through it. I, you know, I think safety has got to be a big concern on a project like sure. this. Sure, safety is a huge aspect on a project like this. Everybody that's working on it and goes on site has to wear their safety equipment and be trained to be on site. Wow, well, I'm going to let you guys get back to work. I'm going to get out of your nice way. Thanks, you. guys. Nice meeting you. Appreciate it. Absolutely.